if we look at uh, sort of the course of the year, there are a lot of events that happen. True, many of us couldn't predict them. Fukushima, for example, and, uh, and its effect, although a positive one for the oil and gas industry, but uh, nonetheless uh, something that uh, couldn't have been predicted. Uh, if you look at uh, what has happened uh, in, in oil markets, we were down in the third quarter, um, something on the order of uh, greater than 20%, um, but we're back up again. So uh, I think volatility will continue moving forward. Uh, in terms of 2012, I think we'll, we'll continue to see some, some level of volatility uh, in 2012's first quarter, probably extending to the first half. But then for, uh, for the remainder of the year, I think we should see some uh, positive ter turn to that, uh, barring the fact that something unexpected uh, might come. I think the longer term picture for the oil and gas industry continues to be positive. Uh, and I think it's, it's there where we should focus, uh, sort of on, on, on the long ter longer term picture, make our bets um, on the basis of conviction, uh, that we will get out of this uh, sort of volatility in the markets uh, uh, moving, uh, moving forward. It's, this is my second time I, I participated last year. Um, it's uh, definitely a, uh, uh, a very prestigious event with uh, uh, lots of uh, executives from the oil and gas industry. Uh, it's a great place for networking uh, and an excellent uh, place to listen to uh, various people that are experts in their fields talk and share views and help in the uh, uh, planning process uh, moving forward and, and thinking about what they have to say and uh, I think that's, that's the value that, uh, that I get out of it.